So, uh, Bob, why should we hire you? Well, that's a stupid question. Welcome aboard. <laughs> that's from Reddit. Is that true? Is that what Stack Overflow is these days? What do you think? Write a comment down below. You've already left a bunch of comments saying, yeah, you've had some bad experiences. I never understand why people in tech forums take pleasure in flaming at persons that look for a solution. Condescending comments and downvotes. There will always be someone who thinks whatever question or tech problem you post is stupid. It really feels like they have some kind of superiority complex. A disgusting sight full of self-obsessed people. Dickish attitudes. Moderation is plainly evil. Bad experience. The most frustrating experience I have ever had. Everybody's tired of their toxicity. One of the meanest sites on the net. Stack Overflow is toxic. You look like Spider-Man Toby Maguire. Hey. I wanted to find out for myself, so I decided to go undercover as a noob and see what all the fuss is about. To get things going, I created a brand new Stack Overflow account and I tapped on the ask a question button. You have a title and description and you have a couple of links that show you how to ask a good question. Come on, people, look how long this documentation is. It's like you need a PhD in order to ask a question on Stack Overflow. Links upon links upon links of documentation. So my goal here is to ask a very noob question because that's what noobs do. They ask questions that they're not familiar with and they're maybe just starting out. For example, I have been writing React apps for many years and I've been using Facebook login for many years, but I've never used those two together. So I posted this question, how to set up Facebook authentication in my React.js web app? Is that a noob enough question for you? <laughs> I explained that I'm new to React.js and I've been learning it over the last few months. Okay, that, that part is, is not exactly true, but that's what a noob would say. I'm good at creating interfaces, but now I wanna allow users to log into Facebook. Can somebody please help me? Now, 40 seconds after I asked this question, there's a downvote. 40 seconds. Is 40 seconds even enough time to read the question and to think about it? Or people just follow a pattern and they say, oh, well, it's a how-to question, I'm gonna downvote it instantly. And that's probably what happened here. One minute after I asked the question, I have two downvotes and I have a comment. The commenter says, he quoted me and says, if this would work like that, everybody will lose their Facebook passwords. I'm just pretending that I'm new to this. I know exactly what this commenter means because I've stated in my question that I have a username field and a password field. And that's not how OAuth works. OAuth presents the Facebook login screen instead of my own form. But a new person is not gonna know that. Do you remember the first time you were learning about OAuth? This comment is not helpful. It's gonna discourage this person from following up and asking any more questions if it's a new person, which is, you know, pretty understandable. Essentially, this commenter is making fun of the person for asking the question. It's another way of saying that question was dumb. Now, if we take a look at this commenter, profile they've been around for a while a number of gold badges silver badges and bronze badges and a reputation of 15,990 oh man three down votes and another comment in two minutes what is this other comment please see why is can someone help me not an actual question I'm beginning to see a pattern emerging here and it's not a fun one Let's see, this person has even more gold badges and silver badges and bronze badges and been a member longer and has more reputation. Now folks, I'm gonna blur these out of course cause I don't wanna embarrass these people. Let's see, I'm gonna click on that. Why is, can someone help me not an actual question? Here is an actual article about this. All the Stack Overflow gurus come here to uh, clap for each other. If you don't like, can someone help me please? I'm gonna change my question to oh, what are the necessary steps to get this done. Can I change the question? Would that help? Well, let's see. Well, it's the next day and guess what? They closed my question. They just freaking closed it. Since this question was closed, I'm gonna click ask the question. What? You can't post new questions right now? Are you kidding me? Why? It looks like you might need a break. Take a breather and come back soon? <laughs> What? You asked one question recently, which was not received well by the community. Everyone learns at their own pace and it's okay to make mistakes. Wow. It's been two days since your last question. We asked that you wait one day before asking again. 
Oh my gosh. Maybe I can just change this question and see if I can get it bootstrapped again. So I'm gonna change the title to the new question that I have. All right, how to secure a component in React.js. This time I wanna really point out that I'm new to this, okay? I'm new to this, React, and Stack Overflow. So please don't bite my head off. Then I described that I've created two components, login and secure, and I've set up Facebook with this particular NPM package that lets me handle all the Facebook login stuff. And then I describe the problem, which is that I can navigate directly to the secure page or the secure component in the URL, but I'm able to access the secure page. All right, how do I not allow the secure page to be visible? And how do I redirect to the login page? Well, I already have a couple ideas on how to solve that, but I wanna see what people will say. Well, it looks like editing the question does not automatically open my question. My question will still remain closed, so I doubt people will see it. That's really annoying. Okay, I'm going to delete this question. It's still not letting me post a new question. Oh, that's annoying. They have an automatic filter, basically, uh, to ban questions or answers from an IP address or account with a history of extremely poor posts. They ban people. If a post was poorly received, that will continue to count against your account, even if the post is deleted. Whenever possible, try to fix posts instead of deleting them. I tried that, it's still closed. Additionally, deletion itself counts against questions. Ah. Uh. Finally deleted answers will always count toward an automatic ban on new accounts. This is really unfriendly, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bunch of unfriendly responses, except one. One was helpful, but people just downvoted my question real quick, even without comment. Someone didn't comment. I got three downvotes, only two negative comments. So what about that third one? Just hit the downvote, boom. Thanks, really helpful. One person came through though, gave me a nice lead, but Stack Overflow itself is making it so hard to fix my ways, you know? Like, oh, you better, you better sit in that corner. Go sit in that corner for a while and think about what you did, you bad, bad developer. Since I can't ask any more questions and I can't seem to get this one reopened, I'm just gonna comment, okay? This one person was nice, so I'm gonna say, thank you, that was actually very helpful. I was able to get past my initial problem. However, I have another issue, uh, and Stack Overflow won't let me ask another question because my first one was voted down. Anyway, just wanted to uh, acknowledge this person who actually pointed me in the right direction. All right, I waited one more day. Let's see if Stack Overflow is forgiving today. The gods of Stack Overflow. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's been three days since you asked the question. Three days. And it's still telling me I need a break. What? Oh. Okay. We asked that you wait one day before asking. Didn't they tell me yesterday that it's been two days and they ask one more day? Uh, maybe it was because I was messing around with the question that they banned me for one more day. I think today is the day. Today is the day that they might allow me to ask one more question on Stack Overflow. I swear, I'm, I'm going to feel like I won the lottery if they do let's try this now i didn't mess around with a question i left it alone so hopefully they'll allow me to ask the new question i can ask a good question now because i know what a good question is right so i'm just gonna copy and paste the previous question because i've already changed it so i want the new question to be like the changed question basically okay here we go my new question is up and I'm gonna delete my previous question because, well, I don't want there to be two of them. Wow, somebody already answered. I, I've just asked this a few minutes ago, like 13 minutes ago, and this guy here uh, provided an answer. Nice, looks like this person actually read my question, went to the documentation of that plugin that I'm using, the NPM package, and found out what I needed. Let's have a look at this guy. Okay, a high reputation, been a member for longer, definitely more badges than the other people. So let's go to the docs and uh, read them a little bit closer. Um, my bad for not reading the docs. I'm a noob, okay? <laughs> so there we go, Facebook client, I'm gonna grab that, get the login status, and yeah, I get redirected back to the login page. Nice. I did run into another issue where I didn't want the initial render to even show the secure page. So I put that in the comment after uh, this person's answer. And then he went through and updated the answer with some more detail regarding the first issue. See, there are good people on the Stack Overflow. I was curious to see if anybody else asking similar questions that's in a similar noob situation, what they're facing. So here's another one, very close to what I asked. How can I obtain access token of users authenticating on my website? And there's a 
ton of questions like this. New people that are just starting out, they're going to Stack Overflow and looking these things up and not finding an answer, but posting their own question. And the first comment we get is not a negative one. It's somebody actually pointing this person to the right place, which is Facebook documentation. Now, unfortunately, for every good interaction like that, I found four bad ones. Here's a person that's a curious learner. Is it possible for Facebook to track user data of other websites through React? I mean, what's wrong with that question? I know, I know, people will point out in the comments, these are the same people that point out the rules in Stack Overflow comments. They're gonna be down in the comments below. But look, sure, it would be possible for them to insert some tracking code into that framework, but people using it surely would find out sooner or later. So it's, it's kind of like a smug answer. Right? The same commenter follows up with, and by the way, this type of question does rather not belong here to begin with. Thanks. Then the questioner tries to defend himself. This question surely is about coding. I'm just checking of the security of it. As all experts are using this website, I think I can ask the question here. I mean, you're not gonna really get a response after that, but it's a fair point. Here's another one. How do I get a public Instagram user post with React? And guess what? That same person from the previous negative post went on this one and making fun of the questioner. When it was way less work, we ended up with Cambridge Analytica situation. How is that helpful? Let's take a look at this person's profile. This person has a high reputation and lots of badges. How? When this person leaves really smug remarks that are not helpful to anybody. Anyway, here's another one. URL blocked using Facebook passport auth. Gives the error message gives uh, graphics, gives the code. So I think that this probably was uh, a question that was coached based on the comments, but the comments are kind of uh, short, you know? What is the error message? I've updated the question now. Did you add the URI in the config where you also put credentials? Yes. So this person kept updating the question based on that. So yeah, I guess this one's kind of neutral. It's not really negative because the commenter was sort of guiding the questioner along to fix his question, but in the end, the commenter didn't really help the person out with the answer to the question, but merely with making the question better, which I guess it's good, but it's also not really answering the question, is it? So are you just out for points? By the way, this commenter is the same one that uh, gave me a down vote and left me a nasty comment too. So some people obviously have a little pattern going on. Finally, one more example, how to retrieve Facebook's user data from developer Facebook. Not uh, the most clear question, I admit, but also didn't get a very clear comment comment in response. Another smug comment from that same person. Looks like we have like uh, repeat people that just go through and comment on as many things as they possibly can just to make sure that they're the police person of Stack Overflow. Got to get those points. There is somebody that actually left pretty decent answer. Thank you to that person. All right, now we've seen plenty of examples of some nastiness going on, especially towards noobs. But you also have to think about the people that are answering questions and looking for new questions there. They're putting themselves out there to hopefully help somebody. There's the whole gamification of it that's kind of ruining the system, I think, the system of goodwill. But there are people that are researching and spending time uh, and answering questions. I bet there is a lot of questions out out there that are also asked by inconsiderate people. You post a question, somebody gives you a good answer, you use it and you don't even thank them or mark that as an answered question, then it goes both ways. In the end, folks, we're dealing with people here. And when you're dealing with people face to face, our evolutionary brains are tuned into all sorts of cues that the other person has given off. Unfortunately, we don't get these kinds of feedback cues from people on Stack Overflow. Yes, Stack Overflow is for developers who are generally smart people but just because they're smart doesn't necessarily make them emotionally intelligent. You might have these folks that are holed up in their basement for 16 hours a day programming and answering programming questions on Stack Overflow, and that's all they do. Nothing wrong with that. That's what they want to do. That's fine. They might even be amazing programmers, but perhaps due to their lack of social interaction, they might not be the best at answering or commenting with a great bedside manner, to borrow a term from the medical field. If there's anything the last two years of... Uh, uh, this thing that we had 
the pandemic taught me is that social interaction is important and it's a skill that can be learned. And you learn it by, well, socializing with real people. Now, I did want to show you something else. These people that are leaving smug remarks, like this guy, for example, if we take a look at other answers this person left, he's actually helping people in some of the answers. He's got lots of answers where he's actually helping people. He's providing answers. The communication might not always be smooth. And sometimes people forget that they're actually dealing with other people, and especially people with different backgrounds and levels of experience and languages. And if we take this guy as an example of what I might have displayed as a bad communication or toxic communication on Stack Overflow, it's not like he doesn't help people, he does. But sometimes gamification makes us do crazy things. Folks are so busy running around the site trying to get more points that they forget who's on the other side. So question askers are just reduced to a means to an end, an end goal of getting more points. And maybe this is a problem with Stack Overflow design itself. If you take a look at comments on Stack Overflow, you'll notice that they don't have downvote capabilities, at least not a the level that I'm at. Maybe somebody with a higher level has that capability. And there's no built-in toxic comment button. How about we add one? That's a question for Stack Overflow. If anybody from there is watching this, maybe something needs to be done to uh, educate folks on not only how to ask proper questions, but how to comment in a human way. Finally, to those folks that are interacting on Stack Overflow, remember the other people are humans and please try not to embarrass people on there. There's all kinds of skill levels and all kinds of languages. If you're already taking your time to type in a message, you can do it in a nice way. You have ChatGPT to help you out. Hey, ChatGPT, pretend this is a response in a popular Q&A site. And by the way, this type of question does rather not belong here to begin with. And rewrite this comment to be more friendly. Hey there, while this type of question may not necessarily fit within the scope of this particular Q&A site or Stack Overflow, I hope you can find the help or information you're looking for elsewhere. And maybe I'll add like, and by the way, here's a link that helps you write better questions. At least do that keeps the atmosphere a little bit more, I don't know, friendly and less toxic. All right, folks, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Stack Overflow sucks. It's always been a disgusting site full of self-obsessed people. I never understand why people in tech forums take pleasure in flaming at persons that look for a solution. People at Stack Overflow are elitist. I stopped using Stack Overflow due to the dickish attitudes. Folks go there for help, not to be berated. Everybody's tired of their toxicity. They want to protect the egos of the power users. Stack Overflow is nothing than a bad experience. You get yelled at, it's quite unfriendly. People that don't even answer questions ask, just lecturing on how their website works and the rules. No more smug pricks soon. Full of egotistical people trying to prove how intelligent they are. There will always be someone who thinks whatever question or tech problem you post is stupid. Nothing says nice like condescending comments and downvotes from anonymous strangers on the internet. It really feels like they have some kind of superiority complex. The most frustrating experience I have ever had. I don't like the toxicity. One of the meanest sites on the net. People downvoting questions for no reason and moderators closing questions because they're slightly off topic. Stack Overflow moderation is plainly evil. All the snide, elitist, and condescending responses I've received and seen on other people's questions have made me look at programmers in a new darkness. Stack Overflow is toxic.